Cool. Now, we are talking about some storms tonight, we perhaps. Are. Yes, so we do have a line of storms that will push in later tonight. Not everyone will see rain. I okay. know we need it. There's a lot of lawns that are really brown out there, including Mine. ours. <laughs> yes, but, uh, um, you know, we are still more threatened by the strong winds with these storms. I'll get to that in just a moment. This morning, though, in Noblesville, we started off with a lot of cloud coverage, and it wasn't until about mid-afternoon that the sun started peeking out. So temperatures were in the upper 70s at 1 o'clock this afternoon, and then they jumped quick as we cleared out the skies, and that sunshine really heated things up. So we're still pretty clear right now, but we're we're watching out for this upper level disturbance off to our northwest. It will dive down and it will bring us some of those storms a little bit later on this evening. In the meantime, it's still hot out there. 84 degrees right now in Muncie, 87 in Indianapolis, 81 in Crawfordsville, and 89 in Bloomington. Now, the Storm Prediction Center does have portions of central Indiana outlined for a risk of severe weather. It's mainly for west central Indiana. It includes Lafayette, Crawfordsville, Greencastle, portions of Bloomington as well, and portions to the west. That's where we think the better storm chances of those stronger storms will be. So let's take a look here at Future Track. Anytime after 10, 11 o'clock tonight, if you're watching us on the night meet beat tonight, we will likely have some storms on radar. So this will start to push in, and this is where we do think this strong line of storms will develop. Damaging winds looks to be the main threats out of these storms. We could see some hail, but wind looks like the front edge of that system will be the main threat. As we get into that midnight hour, we'll start to see these pushing farther east. This is 2 a.m., so Indianapolis could see it. Of course, this could wiggle a little bit slower or faster. Keep that in mind. But I do think this line will weaken quite a bit as it gets into east central Indiana, pretty much falling apart. So most of this will be out of here by 8 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully not impacting your Sunday morning plans. But let's take a look at the rest of Sunday. We'll see those clouds thinning out as well as high pressure builds back in. So we're going to start to see those winds out of the northwest. And temperatures will be a bit cooler tomorrow thanks to that northwesterly flow. In fact, it will be a bit breezy tomorrow. These are the wind gusts. We could see wind gusts from 20 to 25 miles per hour. The winds will be sustained out of the west-northwest from about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So keep that in mind as well. We will see the temperatures climbing to 80 degrees for Sunday afternoon. So keep in mind those stronger storms. Make sure you have the Live Doppler 13 radar app on your bed stand tonight during the overnight. We will alert you if there is any severe weather that comes in your way. And then we'll see a high of 80 degrees Sunday, 77 on Monday. So much cooler. It will also be less humid, a refreshing start to the work week. We start to build the heat back in as well as the humidity with the next storm chance holding off until next Thursday.